Hi, I'm Eric Smith, and this is an excerpt from my autobiographical series, My Life in Not So Much a Nutshell, but More of a Melon Rind. This is from the first of those four books. Late at night on January 26, 2003, my Uncle Glenn called. My mother answered the phone. Oh no, she said. Okay, I'll see you in a few minutes. When she hung up, she yelled for my dad, Mike! My dad walked into the room. What? Uncle Ronnie was riding his bike to work, she explained. He got hit by a truck. Is he okay, my dad asked. I like him. He's in a coma, she went on. Glenn is going to take us over to the hospital. When we arrived at the hospital, the waiting room was full of people. My cousins had to decide what to do with their father. We should pull the plug, Lynn said. The doctor says he's brain dead. We all took turns going into his room to say goodbye. When my dad and Uncle Glenn went in, I went with them. I hardly recognized the man laying in the bed. I had met Uncle Ronnie on many occasions. He just looked that bad from the accident. His eyes were closed and his head had swollen. Goodbye, Uncle. I understood the reason for pulling my great uncle's life support. He was visibly gone already. He was a really nice man, and I always remember him for the smell of pipe smoke. My mother, however, did not understand. Or maybe she was just overly emotional. Nonetheless, she pulled Debbie, Lynn's sister, and Ronnie's other daughter aside. My mother insisted that they keep the poor man on life support. Debbie explained through her own tears that he was beyond medical help. I saw that for myself. Eventually, my mother was asked to leave, so Uncle Glenn drove us back home. I didn't attend Great Uncle Ronnie's funeral, but my parents went with Uncle Glenn. I was told to stay home, so I played Zoo Tycoon on my computer.